Years ago, there was a little cowboy bar in a town near a ranch we worked on. The fellow who owned the bar's brother had the ranch that bordered us to the, to the east. The fellow's name was Jimmy Grimsley. His brother Sammy wanted to run a little bar they called the Wonder Bar. And I wrote a poem about Sammy's Wonder Bar and some of the people that were there. And about everything in this poem is, is about right. It was the way things were at the Wonder Bar. It's called Sammy's Wonder Bar. In a cow town on Main Street, there was a small gin mill. Every cowboy was welcome there and allowed to drink his fill. Owned by Sammy Grimsley, it was just a little place. Sammy remembered every cowboy's name and knew every cowboy's face. There was a lonely old cowpuncher who used to get drunk there, and the whiskey brought a sadness almost more than he could bear. He would say that he must die and leave his dear old pards. He'd cry about how he'd miss the afternoons of playing cards. Now I've traveled, boys, he'd say, you'd not believe how far. But I've never seen such goings on as goes on in Sammy's Wonder Bar. I've rode stirrup deep in snow where the sun comes up at noon. But the place I feel the most at home is Sammy's Wonder Bar Saloon. I've rode and dodged the Troya in that Arizona land, but I'll not leave this place again. Here's where I make my stand. We had to promise not to bury him or cremate him to a char, but mount his head to hang beside the antelope in Sammy's Wonder Bar. Uh, when I went to Cowboy Poetry Convention the first year in 1985, I noticed that everybody had a bull riding poem, except me. I never wrote a bull riding poem. Never was much of a rodeo hand. I was always too busy trying to scratch a living out of one of these ranches or another to get involved in rodeoing much. But since everybody had a bull riding poem, I figured if I was going to write cowboy poetry, I was going to have to write a bull riding poem. So I scratched around in my meager experience and wrote one. The poem is called A Matter of Scale. Glad to see winter finally over, feeling salty, hunting something new. Got to thinking riding bulls was one thing I could do. There'd been talk of a rodeo, first one of the year. I told my plan at breakfast, showed not a sign of fear. But when they ran him in the chute, I wondered if my big talk had been wise. Both my hands with thumbs stuck out and fit neat between his eyes. He had no horns, just a muley head covered up with matted hair. I thought I better get him rode before he grows some there. He was bellering and stomping, weighed ten times as much as me. To sit down on his broad back took all the room from knee to knee. The other cowboys advised and talked to give me courage and hope. Scoot up tight against your hand, try to stay up on your rope. I tried to stay up on my rope, tried hard to make a ride. Before you could say Jack Robinson, I was a hanging off his side. Next thing I knew, that brute was walking on my chest. He bruised my cheek and stomped my hat and tore the pocket off my vest. The clown said I'd done fine to ride from underneath like that and manage to survive. He held my hand as we walked back because I was only five. Mm -hmm.